Hi there, welcome to another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to look at an alternative uh, to the gauge chart, which is one of the lesser used charts in Power BI. So instead of using something like this gauge chart, which takes up quite a lot of room or real estate, um, I'm looking at something which maybe can provide the same type of information, um, but maybe in a sort of more space efficient uh, manner. So if you want to see how to create these in a very simple, straightforward manner, stay tuned and I'll show you straight away. Okay, so the gauge chart or its equivalent uh, wants to show sort of a value based on you know, a minimum and a maximum. So you may have a target of maybe 100% and you want to see where you are. So if you've got a score of 36%, obviously it shows you that you're less than halfway there, but you may have something like a target of, you know, $500 a month spend or $1,000 or $10,000, or um, you want to get a 75% value. So it doesn't necessarily need to be between zero and 100. And sometimes having this sort of color gradation, whether it's a diverging color like this between a red and a green, or like a sequence from sort of a light yellow to a dark yellow, um, it can help give you that indication, sort of reinforces the sort of percentage value, or if it's not a percentage, it's a dollar value. It can give you that sort of emphasized position about where you are relatively along the scale of values. Okay, so before we recreate this, this type of visual is just literally a stacked, 100% stacked um, bar chart. Um, and what you want to do before you start creating this is, let's say you have a value of between zero and hundred percent, and you want to show a different color every 20%, then what you want to have is five different sort of colors. If you want that for 25%, then obviously you'd have four. If you want a 10%, then you need 10 colors and so on. Um, in, in this instance, I'm just choosing the five colors, um, cause I think it sort of works well. So I'm going to actually move to my blank file for this. Okay. So, um, I just want to create five simple measures. So because I'm doing it in five steps, I just want to have the point two, and I'm actually just going to create this five different times. So I'll just sort of fast forward. So you don't need to see me creating this and I'll show you in a second. Okay, so now I have five separate measures. They're all the same measures, so it's just gauge chart one, two, three, four, and five. So they're all equal to 0.2. And just to note, I've formatted them all as a percentage value. All right, and let's build this. Okay, so as I said, I pick a 100% um, stacked bar. And what I want to do is just um, drop in all of my visuals, so GC one, two, three, and four. And then just quickly um, do some very quick formatting. So remove grid lines, legend. I want to remove um, X axis and the Y axis title. Um, I also want to remove the Y axis itself. All right, so I want to adjust the um, size I'm gonna go three two five and one forty and then also um what I want to do here is for the columns spacing inner spacing down to zero and then I want to be able to put in a sort of a KPI value. I think if you look at my previous I had the sort of KPI value at the bottom. Now a way to do that a little bit of a hack you might have seen on some of my other videos um, instead of, because this is between zero and hundred percent, it's always going to be that. So the minimum, instead of having it at zero, you can say minus 0.3. So it gives you this little space underneath where you can fit things in. Um, so that's a little handy tip. Now next, I want to look at the colors. So previously I had sort of sequential colors. Um, so here I'll look at the sort of yellow sequential. So if you've got a, a color palette, if you're choosing, um, you can just do sequential colors to give you that sort of from the light yellow here up to a dark yellow. And next I want to have that bar with the sort of percentage value. So what I need to do is to go down and play. Ref 
reference line, add a line, constant line, and we use conditional formatting. So I just want to use a percentage value. The percentage value here is not really that important. Um, you can use any percentage that you're using for your own work. Um, <clears throat> and then we just want to format this as a sort of solid line. And we want the data label here and our data label. Um, I want it to be just the one decimal place. All right. And then next I want to put in the sort of KPI value, shall we call it. So if I drop in the percentage value here, now you can adjust this um, formatting um, yourself to whatever you want to use. In the interest of speed, I'm just going to copy in what I used previously, basically removed the, a lot of the formatting in terms of borders and padding and things like that. So in terms of the core visual, that is it kind of created there. So I can select um, any person within uh, my employee set and see what percentage value they're getting. Now you may say that actually that's quite a large um, visual is taking up a lot of space. I think you saw previously I had sort of a sort of slimmed down version that you could maybe use. Um, so we can recreate that here now as again. So if I just copy and paste this down and just resize this. Oops. So let's go um, 150. Let's ungroup this for a minute. And what you'll find is this um, value sort of um, is overlaid over the top. Um, if you don't like that, we can just get rid of that. So just turn off the data label so you don't see that. And then for this, just want to resize. So again, might be something a little bit like that group. If you want to add a bit of a touch to it, um, you might want to put a visual border. Again, this is all personal preference. Um, you can give you that kind of sort of bit of a sort of a finish on it. And that is basically it. Um, if you want to change the colors, you can of course just create a copy go in here and select the columns. And if you want to have, you know, a green style gradation or sequence, you know, it sort of depends on your own preference, what you want to show. So if I go back to my previous file, we had that sort of sequence of a green and a yellow. You could have a little bit of a diverging between the yellow and the green, or if you want a traditional sort of traffic light, again, you can do that and recreate these. Now, there's also the option of doing a horizontal. If I quickly go in, back in here, if you want to do that in a sort of simple step, if I copy that down, and I just literally go up here and change this, I can and ungroup this a minute. Just trying to um, resize font. Really make this a little bit smaller. 
I think you get the I think you get the drift. You can adjust the formatting slightly on in terms of the height and width um, to get that effect. So yeah, if I go back um, to my file, you'll see yeah we we can create multiple versions of this. Then if I want to pick my KPI or whoever it is, whatever the date or the person is, whatever it is that you're measuring, you get this kind of effect where you're getting almost like a gauge chart. So hopefully uh, this was of interest, of use. Maybe you get um, to use this in one of your reports. If you do, um, let me know. I'd be interested to know if you like this type of um, alternative look at some of the lesser used um, visuals within Power BI and maybe what alternatives can we use if we don't like what's being presented as a core visual. Okay, until the next video, see you later.